Hi there, Will here, and today I'd like to talk to you about prints. Prints are kind of uh, my ideal location for a photograph to end up. They're kind of uh, the, the spot that I have in mind when I make a picture for the picture to exist. And uh, one can get quite lost in all the technicalities of it all, so I figured today I'd talk to you about the way that I do things and uh, how they end up being. Can you imagine what a picture would look like if it was printed this big? I'd like to see that uh, B picture of mine this big, but unfortunately, I don't really have a way of doing that the way that I'd like to. Give ourselves a flower. There's another flower up here. And this is why I stick to prints. In terms of prints, there are three main techniques that I've made use of over the last five years in terms of bringing my work to life. And uh, those are inkjet printing, hand prints, and uh, C types. But uh, C types and hand prints are actually quite similar, and I'll explain that now. Inkjet printing functions in a largely similar manner to the printer you likely have at home, where ink is sprayed onto a paper, and uh, that is the way that it is rendered. Obviously, there are massive variations in quality depending on what printer you're using and paper, but uh, it's quite simple and painless. Hand prints, which I'd assume a lot of people watching this are quite familiar with, are prints that are made onto paper that is sensitive to light. So light is exposed through a negative, which throws that negative onto the light sensitive paper and then the paper is taken through a bunch of chemicals that bring the latent image out and uh, that is how your print is brought to life. C-types, which are called C-types because it's short for chromogenic, which actually is the same process as uh, hand prints, but you know, that's a different story. C-types are quite similar in process because C-types involve digitally projecting a negative onto photosensitive paper. So it gets rid of the need for an actual physical negative, but the process after that is largely the same. In terms of the technique I prefer, C-types are actually probably bottom of the rung because the way that they render things is actually sort of too accurate for me and too neutral in terms of color. And I quite like to have a slight cast going on every now and again. And uh, whilst I could input that cast in uh, my digital file and then have it printed as a C-type, the look that one can get doing that by hand is quite different. Hand prints, I do quite enjoy as well. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I spend a lot of the time in the darkroom, but there are some elements to hand printing that kind of make it not really feasible in terms of getting consistent work out there for me, which is uh, the fact that there's a lot of variation in terms of color shifts when it comes to color printing. I personally have had scenarios where I've been in the darkroom in the morning and then I come back in the afternoon and try and recreate the same print with the exact same settings. And then because the way the condenser or the diffuser or the bulb was heated up the first time, there's different color casts in the afternoon. So that doesn't really work for me because I want to be able to consistently reproduce work of a similar quality. So these are inkjet test prints, which uh, much like a test strip for a darkroom print gives you an idea of what's going on with the print. So there's a A4 resolution one and then a full preview of the picture, very small. This is an A2 preview of uh, that particular print and then a full preview of it. And uh, the inkjet look is what I prefer for my prints these days. Uh, inkjet on Hanamula photo rag, which is 100% uh, cotton paper. So the ink absorbs into it and it sits inside the paper and on top of it, which leads to quite uh, rich colors and incredible detail. Like the detail renders really, really strongly, especially in combination with my scans. Like generally when printing, people don't worry too much about the uh, loss or having a print that loses some detail when you get up close to it because most people aren't going to look at it that close. But I try for my own sake to have things be as detailed as possible, no matter how close or far you are to them because it's just fun for things to be that way. Like if the print, if this is where the photograph is meant to live and it's its end location, then having it be as detailed as possible and crisp as possible makes sense to me. These test prints are for prints that are going live on my website today. So if you'd like to buy a print of one of them from A4 size up to A0 size, go have a look there. For further comparison, these are C prints and uh, some bigger professional darkroom prints that I've had done. And you can see that the C print is uh, flatter, more neutral. It doesn't have that lovely red uh, warmth going for it that I went for in the hand print. And overall, just doesn't look as nice to me. I'm not saying that I couldn't reproduce that in a C type print. I'm just saying this is how I've ended up going for the inkjet prints. 
if I went back now with uh, what I've learned over the years and tried to directly compare C types to hand prints to inkjet prints, I'm sure the results would vary somewhat, but this is more of me trying to give you an idea of how I ended up doing things the way that I do. It's also quite interesting to compare a uh, darkroom print to an inkjet print because this large one is a darkroom print, which looks lovely, but then side by side with the inkjet print, the inkjet is just a bit punchier and the colors come across better. The darkroom one almost looks uh, flat compared to it. And uh, that's why I prefer the inkjet look because the inkjet renders a picture truer to life in my eyes, not in terms of color, just in terms of the way that I saw it there. That might be a failing in my darkroom ability, I'm not sure, but uh, for now, inkjet is the way that I like to go with prints. And as I said before, inkjet prints are only really as good as the uh, printer you're using. And I like to work with a local lab here called Dog Ear Editions, which is run by a lovely person called Lauren, who is an absolute expert at what she does. She's worked with a bunch of professional photographers locally and internationally. And uh, the results I get working with her don't compare in any way to any other print I've gotten elsewhere. So that's the way I like to do things. And the prints I'm going to have up on my site today are retouched from A0 scans by me, by hand, over the course of many, many hours. And hopefully they are the best way for my photographs to live out there in the world. And doing things this way, I can quality control all of the prints and make sure that they look exactly the way that I want them to. Whereas if I was using a, a third party service overseas, which might diminish the shipping costs somewhat, the quality would be totally out of my hands, which just isn't the way that I'd like for my photographs to exist in the world. Like having prints that I know look the way that these do is a much better way to do things than a, a third party service. For this first run, I'm also going to donate a percentage of the profits from the prints to various charities that I reckon relate to the pictures. You can read more about that in the uh, print descriptions on my website. And of all, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I hope you get the chance to look at some lovely prints in person.